Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, three squares, green one, uh, yellow one, and the uh, blue one, fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, the diameter of this uh, semicircle uh, is uh, 52 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of all uh, these uh, squares this uh, green one, uh, yellow one, uh, and the blue one uh, individually. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that the diameter of this uh, semicircle is uh, 52. So therefore, the radius uh, of this semicircle is going to be half of this uh, 52 is going to be 26 so the radius of this semicircle uh, is uh, 26 and here's our next step let me go ahead and label uh, these uh, side lengths uh, let's assume the side length uh, of this uh, green uh, square is uh, a then all uh, these uh, side lengths of this uh, green uh, square are going to be a as well and now let's assume that this uh, side length uh, of this uh, yellow square is uh, lowercase uh, b then all these uh, sides uh, of uh, this uh, yellow square are going to be B as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, length uh, is uh, lowercase uh, a and this uh, length uh, is uh, lowercase b. Then this uh, blue side length uh, is going to be a minus uh, b. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, blue square turns out to be a minus b. Then all uh, of its uh, side lengths are going to be a minus uh, b across the board. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, lowercase a and the value of lowercase uh, b. And here's our next step. Let's assume that uh, this uh, segment uh, OC is uh, m units. And likewise, uh, this segment uh, OB is uh, lowercase n. So therefore, we can see that this uh, CB length uh, is going to be M plus uh, n. So I'm going to write down uh, M plus uh, n. And likewise, uh, this uh, CB length uh, is uh, lowercase a plus uh, lowercase b so this is uh, a plus uh, b as well so therefore we can see that this uh, c b length is not only a plus b but also m plus n so therefore we conclude that uh, a plus b equals to m plus n and here's our next step i have connected this center o with this uh, point uh, a and this uh, point uh, d and we can see that this OA and OD are the radii of this uh, semicircle. And we know the radius of this semicircle is 26. So no wonder this radius is going to be 26. And this uh, radius uh, OD is going to be 26 units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DCO, whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase m lowercase uh, b and uh, 26 and now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square where c is our uh, longest uh, leg so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a in our case is this uh, side uh, b so I'm going to write down b square plus this other side is uh, lowercase m so I'm going to write down m uh, square equal to our this uh, longest leg is 26 so this is going to become 26 uh, square let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, equation as uh, equation uh, number one and here's our next step let's focus now on this uh, other uh, right triangle uh, abo whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase uh, n lowercase a and uh, 26 so we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A square plus B square equal to C square where C is our longest leg. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to give us uh, A square 
plus uh, n square equal to 26 uh, whole uh, square. Let me call this our equation uh, number 2. And here we got uh, these equations 1 and 2. And now we are going to compare these two equations. And we can see the right hand sides are uh, identical. So therefore we can equate uh, the left uh, hand sides. So I can write a square plus n square equal to b square plus uh, m square. And now let's go ahead and move this uh, b square on the left hand side. At the very same time I'm going to move this uh, n square on the right hand side as well. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a square minus b square could be written as uh, a minus b times uh, a plus b and we are going to apply this identity on uh, both uh, sides of this equation. So therefore uh, this uh, thing is going to become uh, a minus uh, b times uh, a plus b equals to m minus uh, n times uh, m plus uh, n. And now let's focus on this uh, a plus b and we can see that a plus b equals to m plus n. So therefore I'm going to replace this a plus b by m plus n over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, a plus b by m plus n over here. And here's our next step. I have divided both sides by m plus uh, n and make sure that m plus n is not equal to 0. And now we can see this m plus n and this m plus n is gone. And likewise this m, and m plus n and this m plus n is gone as well. So therefore we are uh, ended uh, with uh, a minus uh, b equal to m minus n. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, equation as our equation number uh, 3. And here's our next step. Let's recall this effect once again a plus b equals to m plus n and here I have copied it down and we can see on the left hand side we got uh, a plus b somehow we want to make it uh, a minus b on the left hand side so therefore let's go ahead and subtract uh, 2b from uh, both uh, sides so therefore the left hand side when we combine these one that is going to give us uh, a minus uh, b equals to this uh, m plus n minus uh, 2 times b. Let me call this our equation uh, number uh, 4. And here we got uh, equation 3 and equation 4. Let's go ahead and compare these two equations. And here we can see the left hand side of these equations are uh, identical. So therefore we can equate uh, the right hand sides uh, as well. So therefore we can write this one as uh, m plus uh, n minus uh, 2 times b equal to m minus uh, n and here we can see m and m is gone on both sides so therefore we are ended up with the uh, n minus uh, 2 b equals to negative n and now let me go ahead and move this uh, 2 b on the right hand side and at the same time i'm going to move this uh, n on the left hand side so therefore we are going to have n plus n equals to 2 times b. So therefore 2 times n turns out to be 2 times b. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore our n value turns out to be equal to lowercase b. So thus our n value turns out to be lowercase b. And now let's recall this equation once again a plus b equals to m plus n and here I have copied it down and here let's focus on this uh, n we know n equals to lowercase b so I'm going to replace this uh, n by b so therefore this equation is going to become uh, a plus uh, b equals to m plus uh, lowercase b. And here we can see b and b they cancel each other out. So therefore we are ended up with the m equals to lowercase uh, a. So therefore we can see our uh, m value turns out to be lowercase a. That means this m is going to be equal to lowercase a. And likewise this n equal to lowercase b. So therefore this uh, n is going to be equal to b. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, CO length uh, 
is uh, lowercase a and this uh, o f length is uh, lowercase b then our this uh, tiny segment f o is going to be a minus b so therefore our uh, f o length turns out to be a minus b and here's our next step i have uh, connected uh, this uh, point e with this uh, point uh, p and now let's make an observation we can see that this segment uh, is uh, a minus b so therefore uh, this segment uh, p f is going to be a minus b as well and here's our next step i have connected uh, this center o with this uh, point uh, e and we can see that this uh, o e is the radius of this uh, semicircle and the radius is uh, 26 so no wonder this uh, radius length is uh, 26 as well and now let's make an observation uh, on this uh, f o is uh, a minus b as you can see over here this length and likewise uh, this uh, p f length is uh, a minus b over here as well so therefore we are going to get uh, this whole length uh, p o so therefore we are going to add a minus b plus uh, a minus b so therefore when we add uh, these uh, two lengths uh, so this p o is going to be 2 a minus 2 b as you can see over here and now let's make an observation we can see that these uh, two right uh, triangles uh, e p o and this uh, other right triangle uh, a b o are uh, congruent uh, triangles since uh, this uh, side length uh, is lowercase a and this uh, side length uh, is uh, lowercase a as well and this is our radius which is 26 uh, and this is our radius uh, 26 as well and this angle is uh, 90 degrees likewise this angle is 90 degrees uh, as well since uh, these uh, two right triangles are congruent uh, so that means uh, this uh, side length uh, p o is going to be equal to this side length uh, o b as you can see in this uh, equation and we can see our uh, p o segment length uh, is uh, 2a minus uh, 2b and our o b length uh, is uh, lowercase b so let's go ahead and replace this uh, p o length by 2a minus uh, 2b equals to o b length uh, is uh, lowercase b let's move this uh, 2b on the other side so therefore we are going to have uh, 2a equals to 3b in other words we can write as a ratio i can write uh, a divided by b equals to 3 divided by 2 in other words the ratio of a and b is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, 3 and 2 so therefore we can write uh, a equals to 3 times some constant uh, k and likewise uh, b equals to 2 times some constant uh, k and now we are going to find the value of k and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a b o its side length uh, is uh, a and we know a equals to three times k so i'm going to replace this side by three times k and likewise uh, this other side length is uh, lowercase b and lowercase b equals to 2k so i'm going to replace this side uh, by 2k so let's go ahead and apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square our longest leg is uh, 26 and the other two sides are 3k and uh, 2k so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so therefore we can write uh, 3k whole square plus uh, 2k whole square equal to 26 uh, whole square let's go ahead and divide both sides by 13 so therefore uh, our k square value turns out to be 52 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides so therefore uh, our k value turns out to be square root of uh, 52 and here's our next step we know our k value is square root of 52 and our a equals to 3 times uh, k and here i am going to replace k by square root of 52 so therefore a value turns out to be 3 times uh, 
square root of 52 and likewise our b value is 2k now let's substitute k value over here so b turns out to be 2 times the square root of 52 so thus we can see that our this a value which is the side length of the green square turns out to be 3 times square root of 52 and likewise uh, our b value which is 2 times square root of uh, 52 is the side length uh, of this uh, yellow square and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s uh, is the side length of the square and in our case our green uh, square side length is 3 times square root of 52 so therefore the green square area is going to be 3 times the square root of 52 whole square and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us 468 so therefore the area of this green square turns out to be 468 square units and likewise the area of this yellow square is going to be 2 times square root of 52 whole square and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us 208 so therefore the area of this yellow square turns out to be 208 square units and finally let's go ahead and calculate the area of this blue square whose side length is a minus b so i can write a minus b whole square and we know our a value is 3 times square root of 52 and b value is 2 times square root of 52 and here i replace a by 3 times square root of 52 and b by 2 times square root of 52 now inside the parentheses uh, that is going to be simplified 3 minus 2 is going to give us uh, simply square root of uh, 52 whole uh, square so therefore the area of this uh, blue square turns out to be 52 so thus the area of this uh, blue square turns out to be 52 square units and here we have a final uh, answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye